Hi, I'm Josh Davey with Davey Coach, and today we are going to do a quick walk around of one of our Turtle Top Vantera products. Uh, I didn't get any shorter, and we did not inf over inflate the tires on this vehicle. This is one of our four wheel drive units. Uh, very, very specialty piece of equipment, something that we sell on an annual basis uh, more than the entire rest of the industry combined. This is very much something that we specialize in. So if you're looking for four wheel drive buses, you've definitely found the right source. Uh, this is one of our most popular sizes that we sell. This has a conversion from a company called Northwest Quad Van that we work a bunch with. Uh, we also work with Quigley and Advanced Four Wheel Drive. Those are the three flavors of 4x4 that are all more or less appropriate depending on what your potential time frames are, what your budgets are. They all come in at respective differently price points. Uh, we've also got this system that utilizes all Ford OEM components. So if you ever had an issue with this vehicle, you can pull into any Ford dealer and they're all F-Series truck components, which makes it very user-friendly to service down the road. This also comes with, I mean, to say that's not median aggressive, I don't, I don't know what other way to describe that tire, but uh, they are a taller tire. They're a much more aggressive tire. They come with the conversion package. We've got these chrome rims on here. We also do a black wheel finish that's very stylish as well. This vehicle comes with a two inch lift kit. The Vantera normally has a really very user friendly 10 inch ground to first step. So this steps up to 12 inches. It's great ground clearance if you're an energy company, a mining operation, somebody driving in deep mud, deep snow. This is really, really an ideal setup and configuration. And the way we bring our vehicles in, we also custom order most of them with a limited slip rear axle. So even if you're not locked into four x four, you're still pretty formidable. Uh, you do need to get out and manually lock the hubs with this system. This is a vehicle that we've got in stock. We ordered a handful of for a tour operator that we're getting ready to take delivery of uh, here with them pretty quickly. So we're going to jump inside the bus right now. A couple of other points to uh, go over on the exterior. This has got our in-body style of entrance door. Uh, we've got a really upgraded seat enhancement package on the interior. And then you can't see it because it's covered in snow right now. We got a nice dump on us last night, but this has got some roof mounted air conditioning fans that really help the rear AC system keep up and do better in hotter climates or climates that might have more dirt, dust, and road debris coming up off the pavement where they would really abuse those fans on the lower skirt where they're normally located on a vehicle. So we moved them up top so this operator gets a more efficient, uh, less problematic system over its lifetime. Let's jump inside real quick. All right, now we're checking out the inside of this four-wheel drive vehicle. We didn't have to use a step ladder to get into it, but it does sit up another two inches like we already talked about. So we're in the back now. Where do I sit? What's going on back here? This is a really unique configuration, and it showcases our ability to, for, to offer both a perimeter-style seat, which is this, I face the center of the bus, kind of wrap around like a horseshoe. We can run seats that are perimeter-style down this side as well. That's really ideal for parking lot operators, short jackrabbit type routes, ski resorts where people are getting on and off really quickly. And then you can also leave some room for standees with overhead grab handles in the center of the vehicle here. This was a specific configuration for the individual operator that we custom ordered this vehicle for. We also custom ordered these seats for them. These are a high back luxury style seat built by our friends out at Premier Seating Products. These seats are designed to simulate a luxury driver's seat in a BMW, Mercedes Benz, um, Lexus type vehicle. They use a liquid injected molded foam versus a layered foam. Um, holds up a lot better underneath that cushion with a lot of on and off uh, uh, cycles. You know, people's butts pressing in and getting up and, and pressing down and getting up. It, there's some rubbing that goes on underneath where the seat cushion uh, foam meets the seat cover. And this style holds up a little bit better over the course of time. It also sits a lot nicer. These seats have our under seat retractable belt. So when we push these, they're very automotive style. They retract back into a housing that's stored on the bottom side of the seat. Uh, I've got a large rear tour window going on in the back of the vehicle here. We've got a large rear air conditioning system. And as we touched on outside, the fans that power that system are located on the roof of the vehicle right up here. So they're pulling in cool airflow from the top of the vehicle versus that air coming up off the pavement that's anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees hotter during the hot summer months than it is up on the top of the vehicle. We get a much more pure, clean airflow up top there, so it helps that system operate more efficiently. Uh, we've also got an emergency escape hatch here, so this vehicle uh, meets DOT requirements for the state that it's going into. This is an upgraded escape hatch. It's got three different position settings to it. We can push it up 
and we can get some fresh airflow in. We can push it up from this direction and it ventilates and pulls some air out as we're traveling down the road or we can pop it up that way and it's up in the front and the back and we get kind of a cyclone effect going on back here. Fresh air in, old air out. Um, obviously in the event of an emergency we turn this handle this hatch swings up and you know the vehicle's on its side everybody's climbing out and, and uh, clearing the vehicle in that scenario. So um, uh, the nose cap of the vehicle has a gorgeous scenic nose cap touring window. We're going to flip around real quick here and take a look at that. Jump outside, wrap this thing up. All right, so we just jumped up to the front of the vehicle. Behind me, gorgeous scenic nose cap touring window. It's almost a continuation of the windshield up to the roof line of the vehicle. There is not a bigger piece of glass, cubic square inch wise, in the industry for a vehicle in this size and class, totally unique. And it's an unrivaled viewership experience for the passengers in the back of the bus looking forward. Um, I mean, they, they just get a view unlike any other vehicle in the industry. Uh, that we offer or, or is built as far as we're aware. So uh, this vehicle, as we touched on, is a four-wheel drive unit. You've got your, uh, your four-wheel drive uh, control mechanism on the floor here, so you can lock the vehicle into four low, four high, or two-wheel drive. As we discussed, you do need to get out and manually lock the hubs as well. We've got our control panel for the driver here. We can open and close our entrance door. We can turn our center and side dome lights on. And this is where we operate our air conditioning and our heating system as well. For the vehicle. All right, so that about wraps up this four wheel drive, single rear wheel turtle top Vantera. We just took a walk around this, jumped onto the inside, checked out some custom seating options. Uh, one more thing I want to leave you guys with is that we do offer these as brand new. We can custom order these for you. The lead time for a custom ordered four wheel drive vehicle can take anywhere from 10 to 12 months. 10 to 12 months in order to build one of these from scratch. Fortunately, if you don't have that amount of time to wait, we do keep them in stock. They're available for immediate delivery. We can retrofit one of these vehicles that we've already got built and on the ground, have a conversion added to it after the fact. That's generally a 60 to 90 day lead time. We do keep them in stock with conversions already done. They're available immediately. And we also have these available for rent or for short term lease in our re uh, rental and leasing division. You can check us out at cornerstonebusrentalsandleasing.com. We also sell those vehicles as pre-owned. So if you guys need a four-wheel drive bus, but you don't quite have the money in the budget to afford a new one, we've got pre-owned four-wheel drive vehicles. Be sure to ask your sales rep about those as well. Check us out online at davycoach.com. Thank you for your business.